Let's begin module number two by actually uh, first going back and reviewing what we did in module number one. In module number one, we looked at the very beginnings of how to program with Scratch. We looked at the fact that programming consists of creating a sequence of commands that move the actor, the sprite, around on a stage and cause him to hopefully do something that toward a goal we want to achieve. And so this is square tracer number two, where we were using absolute coordinate systems to draw out a square, right? We go pl take places everybody, we work our way around through the, the program and move up out of the way and we get this nice square. And that's a pretty simple program, but it had the idea of sequencing, it had the idea of using movement, it had the idea of using a little bit of control, these orange weight blocks, uh, and then using the pen to draw out some, some shapes as we drew. So that the first unit was scratch as logo. And that's a good start for the project that we're, or for, the, for getting started with Scratch. But now in this module, we want to move on and we want to look at something that might engage students a little bit more and really get a chance for them to use their creative side. And so you'll remember that one of the things that I talked about in the introduction is that Scratch is really good at allowing us to do animated storytelling. Uh, and that fits in perfectly with the uh, concept of the fact that you are a theater uh, director or a movie director and so what we're going to do today is to in this set of modules and this set of videos for this module is to create a video that tells a knock-knock joke um, and so I, I tell to my students this is the world's worst knock-knock joke you know if you're gonna go big you're gonna do something go big right and so this is the world's worst knock-knock joke and so here's here's the script that we're going to be working with right and so as a director I have to have begin with an idea of a script and so here's my script so it's a very simple knock-knock joke Lisa says knock-knock John says who's there Dwayne Dwayne who Dwayne the bathtub I'm drowning I told you it was an awful joke right but there we go. We've got this joke that we want to animate. And so as my direct as the director of this, I look at that script and I have this big high level view of what it is I want to do. I know that I'm going to have to have two actors in this uh, script, right? In this uh, program. So we're going to have to learn how to create more than one actor. Uh, we probably don't want the cat anymore, right? I want to have pictures of Lisa and John in this. Uh, right now it's been on being done on a white stage. We don't want to have the white stage anymore. We might want to have something interesting. And then we have to learn how to sort of divide this script between Lisa's three lines and John's two lines. And so as a director, we begin by storyboarding. We begin by looking at this script and thinking, what is it that we want to do? We'll come back to that idea of storyboarding later, but we wanted to introduce it quickly here to begin. Uh, in the meantime, now that we've introduced the idea of storytelling and storyboarding in general, we need to think about what we need to know in order to move forward. And so one of those things will be what we'll talk about in our next lesson. We'll look at how we can move beyond just the simple scratch cat into a whole variety of sprites, the actors that we need for our story. And that will come in the next lesson.